This depiction is dangerous. Come on, Enid. I'm cutting it. Butchery, sadism, murder. A wave of depraved and corrupt horror video. Confusing fiction with reality. Doug Smart, producer, high dent investment films. Maybe Enid could watch my latest Frederick North submission. Wanted a woman's eye on this film. So when you first see the trailer of um, Sensor, it looks like it's going to be something like a British version of The Ring. You know, it's going to be, but it's going to be like you know with different accents, like those sort of like more pompous accents. Well, look, I found a videotape. I'm pin the player. So yeah, you think it's going to be like The Ring, but it's not. Yeah, the film is set during the rise of the uh, sort of VHS video nasty period. And the backstory of this is like um, it's in Thatcher's 80s sort of government. And what it is, it's kind of like they're trying to like ban all these video nasties saying they're bad for people. There's a story out there saying that, um, yeah, they influence people and stuff like that, you know, in bad ways. But the story of this film is just, yeah, this woman's an editor anyway. And she's like, you know, she's lost her sister. Um, she met missing years ago. And yeah, and, and it's, yeah, I think she's just, she's just got this inner trying of trying to find her. So yeah, I mean, the film's like, it's, it's got a very dark setting, the tone's very dark, the colors are very dark. But in terms of the film, um, yeah, I just felt it was really flat. I just, that wasn't until about the last, like two minutes of the film maybe. Yeah, the conclusion was probably the only part that I just felt a bit interesting. The rest of it was just really flat off. You know, it's just basically from the very beginning, it's just like, there was no roller coaster like a film should take you on. I think we're quite aware these days as many films have political agendas. I believe this has a political agenda. It's almost like trying to say censorship is good because it does really bad things to people. And I think at the moment, you know, everyone knows, you know, they're, they're trying to push censorship so much on the internet and things like that. And it's just like, I think there is some kind of like political agenda in this. I could absolutely be wrong, you know, but I just, you know, it's just, um, it's, that's just how it seems. When the, when the first opening credits came up, I really found, when I saw it was like a BFI film, I kind of knew what was in store for me. I've sort of like, I've had the experience of watching BFI films at these sort of screenings and I've sort of like, every time I see BFI come up on the screen, it's kind of like, yeah, you know what's kind of in store, you know it's not gonna be a great film. I don't mean to diss BFI, but I think it just annoys me. They are like the one organization in the UK that are funding films, but the stuff they make just doesn't really go anywhere. I know this film has got distribution, but it's kind of like, yeah, I mean, it's, I think it's gonna go on, I think Film 4 are involved in this as well, so it's probably gonna be in your telly very soon. But I also saw um, an interview with a BFI, I think one of the people that runs it anyway, and, um, and she was saying, she had basically admitted that there's no place, they don't wanna basically fund films where the director wants their own vision, which to me makes no sense at all, because obviously, surely, the director vision, director's vision is important. This, this person said that if, if, some, if a director comes in and wanting their vision, they, can, they should just go and do theatre, basically. I mean, it's almost like they've lost the understanding of what film's really about. I mean, you look at all the films like, you know, I grew up in great films, like, you know, Robert Zemeckis films, James Cameron films. All these films were great entertainment, great roller coaster films. But then you get a film, a BFI film, which is flat as a pancake. I mean, I think that goes to show that, you know, they really, they, the director's vision is important. So this was the first film of the Sundance Festival and yeah, I just, I was, I was yawning all the way through it. I mean, say some of you might like it. It's probably gonna go straight to film four. It's probably gonna be on your telly very soon. So, I mean, I can't really, it wasn't for me, basically. I feel it was just, there was much, it was just trying to say too much and I think that's, and it just felt, you know, it was, it could have been an interesting story, but it was just executed quite poorly. I don't think that means the director's bad or anything, but I do believe if this has gone through the BFI channels and they've probably had a lot of, they've probably had to compromise a hell of a lot and that's not a good thing for a director. But hey, you might enjoy it when it comes on your TV because I'm sure it will be on Film 4 very soon.